great. Okay, can you see Unreal now? Yes. Okay, and then an environment. Desert. So I'm just going to import a black and white map. This doesn't have any alpha. Uh, by the way, this is uh, how to create a fog card in Unreal Engine and build your own material. And Sophia has kindly allowed us to use her project as a, a guinea pig. No, as a so I'm just pulling this gradient in okay. and then the next thing I'm going to do is make an environment no, I'm not going to import I'm going to make a material so right click go to material and we'll call this fog card material and double click on that And then um, the first thing we need to do is select the material and set it to translucent under blending mode. And then we're going to hold down the, the number three key and click in here and make a color node. So we've got RGB and then we're going to convert that to a parameter and we'll call this color. And then we're going to pull that gradient in here. But the thing is, we can plug the gradient directly into the opacity. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and we'll set this as like just the default value is red so we can really see where it is and what, what's going on with it. We can plug that into there, hit apply. <laughs> and then if we create a... Uh, a plane convert it put our material on there you'll see that we have this red dot right and we can if we put that red dot in front of The, anything it's going to obscure it right because it's, yeah. it's basically getting in the way of it's, it's acting like fog so imagine there's a bunch of little red particles in the air we can make any color we want but what we can't do is control and if we make more of them it's just going to continue to you know get thicker and thicker I can pull I down the right great. button Right, so we could just make super thick red fog, and then we wouldn't be able to see the. the right. Mm -hmm. I think that's right. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> the problem is, is if we want to make that a different color or more opaque, we can't make it, or more transparent. We can't just make it more transparent. So what we have to do is basically multiply a black into our original color. So we're gonna hold down three again. And we're going to call this uh, uh, transparency. And then we're going to hold down M and make a multiply. And this will be our original color. So that's our original opacity. And we're going to set this to white because we don't want it to be doing anything. We want to assume that in the beginning our our card is completely opaque <clears throat> and we'll put that into B and then we'll pipe that into opacity so now both of these are parameters which means if we turn uh, oh, we want that to be M. <laughs> if 
which means number one is that this is going to be sometimes you may want to have a little really subtle fog uh like just going along the bottom of the uh, or you may want something that's really opaque that really obscures a lot the, the other thing is we can change the color and make it anything we want so if it's in the background it's one color if it's in the foreground something else so this is our master and then if i right click on this make an instance, an instance and it'll just be whatever then I can come in, make my color white or blue, and you'll see here in a second. Oh, oh yeah, that's pretty good there. I'm gonna get my planes. I'm gonna do that. I wonder if it'll let me select it both. Oh, I guess it won't. There it is. Yes. And then <clears throat> kind of squash it down. I'm going to also turn down my lighting in here a little bit. Well, like I said, you'll, you'll be able to see. So now let's just say that this is where our camera is. I'm going to pull this one down too. Now we kind of have this blue fog that's around the around the floor. But the art director comes in and says, well, I don't want it to be blue. I want it to be more green. And then we can come in and just make it more green. And then the, he or she says, oh, well, now it's too opaque. And then you can come in and start to just make this darker. Because the only thing that this is affecting is how transparent it is. And you can see here on the side, as I push that more towards black, if I can grab the side of this here. Yeah, it's a little transparent. Yeah, it'll become more transparent. And so what you're going to do is, um, I'm going to save this. We're going to go over and start to put those in between the foreground, middle ground, and background and break those those up. Does that make sense? Or do you want yeah. a demo or not? I'm going to stop it right here. Actually, I'm just going to pause. Kind of excited. So you'll see, like, we're using just a perfect gradient, right? But you could vary that a little bit and put a little bit of smoke in it or even animate it, and it would have a really subtle, um, you know, it, 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 would, it would break that edge up a little bit. Animate the plane? No, you actually animate the cloud modulating a little bit. So instead of just having a gradient, we'd have an animation in our opacity map. Cool. Or if like the bottom of the waterfall and you had some mist or something, and it would it would modulate and turn into so again I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a, a plane in here. I'm gonna name this properly, not that I'm gonna save it, but it'll just be yeah. better for me to I see it. Just barely, right? And it's there. Uh, let's make it more opaque so we can see what's going on. We'll also make it kind of a yellowy, orange color. Oops, not that. That's our opacity. We want this color to be different. Oh, the, uh, oh, here's the other thing. Is we want to be able to control the light on it. I'm glad I... So, again, we're going to hold down three. And we don't... We want to be able to control... We want to be able to add light to it regardless of how much light is on it. Because we may have a plane, and if there's a, a directional light, that's which is what's happening in this scene, it's hitting that plane, it's never going to get light. 
So we have to be able to add light to it um, with the emissive color. And then if I open up the sequence, the type. There it is. So I turned it upside down. <laughs> That's already helping a little bit. But if, if we turn it more towards the camera, Yeah, that's good that it also reacts to the light. Right. Now I can turn on the emissive, and if we want to make it just like a crazy beam of sun, we can, you know, like make it yellow. Mm -hmm. The other thing is sometimes you, you, you want to crank that up just so you can see where it is and what's going on until yeah. you get it placed right. I and, know how many, like this is a great trick. Um, I would have never thought of that. And then you can turn it back down. But see how now we can start to see those three, and it can be really subtle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, so that way it's like something pretty specific in like certain areas, right? So it's like uh, it makes it easier than playing with the fog that may affect like a whole other area that we don't want it to affect, right? Right. Plus, with regular fog, you're always adding. Whereas with this, yeah. you can actually start to subtract light a little bit if you want to. But, oh, yeah. um, cool. And see, we may want to like make this one's okay because we because we're breaking up that silhouette a little bit, although it needs to be a little higher. Um, but on this one. We can actually go in and make another instance of this thing. Uh, and, and you would obviously, you would name it appropriately. And then if you come in and say, well, that's too saturated, I'm going to, I'm going to turn the transparency down a little bit and I'm going to change the, the color so that it's not quite so red. So we're going to add green to it. Now it starts to look more like dust. Mm -hmm. And you're also not getting so saturated. So so you can make as many of those instances as you need those cards to be different. Right. And they're so far away, they, it's, like, it's not really like noticeable. It's like uh, it's still. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think in this instance, especially for the length of the shot, we're not really going to need to do anything that's particularly... crazy so that's probably got too much green in it but at least now we're we're really defining that that medium that that medium silhouette right ah, so we're getting the first read we're getting the second read yes and then if you want to put one in the far distance and make it a little bit more purple it's gonna you still have a lot of contrast between these back mountains so, so those can get closer together, and it's going to give it that much more 
look of distance. Yes. <laughs> I, I need to fix this though, just because I'm crazy. Yeah, you can do purple. Maybe. Do anything you want. But see, it it's super simple, really, but... Yeah, that's uh, so smart. It gives you a lot of control. Yeah, it's, also, it's super like straightforward, too. It's just like creating your own um, transparent material with some ready gradient. On, but it's like really, really, really effective. Great. Cool. Yeah. All right, guys.